Hi guys, it's Mark here from Newby Brevin. So, I've just come back up to uh, the place where we've been camping a few times. And, uh, sad to say, kids have been up here and uh, they've wrecked it all. Uh, that's a sad thing about when you're just camping out in the uh, woods and trying to build a place. Unless you're actually on your own land, uh, this is what happens. So that used to be the windbreaker. Uh, there's the other one, all destroyed. Just taken apart most of it, so that one can be salvaged. Uh, these ones, this looks like the stakes have been uh, just taken up or broken away. Uh, uh, the bed's broken. Uh, and the wood's been chucked around. So just over there, some uh, some scouts or cubs have been doing some pioneering, uh, and they built like a little wash basin area, uh, which is part of the practice what they would do. But yeah, so it's sad. Uh, uh, it's kids, isn't it? They just don't realise what they're doing. Uh, they think it's all the laugh and the joke. But so if you do find a place. Make sure it is remote and uh, uh, you can build it up so it stays up uh, as long as possible or make it so you just can't see it. Uh, that's it, so that's all for me for tonight. Just a quick update on the camp and uh, the work that we're going to have to do to uh, just keep it so we can just carry on camping here. Uh, the tarpaulins are gone, so I don't know where they've gone. Uh, it's a shame. Uh, I'm going to have a look around and see what I can see. So yeah, just walking back. Uh, there's no tarpaulin anywhere. Uh, so they're gone. Uh, it's a shame. You know, in this modern day, with all the political correctness, uh, if I knew my son did something like that, uh, I'll give a good old uh, slap and teach him some manners and respect. Uh, and, uh, and it's, it weren't just for the scouts, anyone who would, there's been other people camping there. Uh, and it would have been a windbreaker for them too. But, uh, that's the way society is uh, with all the political correctness. Uh, children think they can get away with murder now. Because they, uh, there's just no discipline put to it into them. You know, I heard a case where one parent was uh, taken to court because he took his son's phone away from him. How ridiculous is that? Because it was detrimental to his health. He was stressing out. <sighs> that was my son. He certainly will be stressing out. He'll be running around the block trying to get away from me. Uh, and if you're offended by whatever I said, <laughs> you know, tough, you know, you know, parents need to be parents and children need to be children and other people need to get, keep their noses out for thousands of years, children who have grown up will learn respect, you know, now they're not. So let's see, think what we're doing wrong. Oh. All this leftist crap, what's coming in saying, you can't smack your child, you can't punish them, you can't take things away from them. <sighs> You're gonna end up with a lot more children turning into criminals, thinking they can get away with it, and when they get sentenced, that's a bit harsh, that's not fair, I'm gonna take the judge to court because he's detrimental to my health. <sighs> Sad to say, this is the world we live in. They all need a kick up the arse. So, I'm back at my car now. Uh, I'm gonna be out here again tomorrow night with the explorers uh, doing their Duke of Ed expedition. Uh, so they don't know I'm gonna be around while they're camping. So I'm just here to make sure they're safe, just in case some likely lads come along thinking they're jack lads, thinking they're gonna cause some trouble. They all run into me. <laughs> So yes, 
they will not be causing trouble. So, speak to you soon. So, I'm out with the explorers, uh, and obviously you know the camp has been destroyed. Uh, we tried out hammocks to, uh, on this trip. They're doing their expedition at the moment, so they're in the actual camp. I'm about 200 meters away from where the camp is, uh, up on the little ridge. Uh, so they don't actually know I'm here. So, uh, yeah, they're doing the expedition. They did it in hammocks, and uh, from what I see, hammocks are really good. Uh, I'm going to invest in getting uh, myself one, and I'm sure uh, Richard do it, uh, invest in one as well. Uh, it did seem <laughs> that they uh, didn't really listen to. <laughs> uh, me when I was telling them, explaining them how to sleep in the hammock uh, uh, on our uh, explorers Facebook page we have actually got a video from another prepper who explains how to sleep in a hammock uh, and some of them didn't really either didn't watch it or uh, didn't listen uh, and they're complaining uh, it was cold it was yeah you know. but it's a learning curve I can't show you the extra camp so it's just more just basically me talking because obviously the explorers are down there uh, cooking their breakfast and as it's in an expedition it, they're on their own doing it I'm only here as a uh, like their leader supervisor to make sure they're safe uh, so yeah so it's just a little quick video uh, I'm sure it will get bolted onto the other bits and which would be editing cutting it but we will be coming up here again uh, and redoing a little camp again it's all good practice at the end of the day even though it's a bit disheartening and it's even my explorers come up when they when they saw it it was like who destroyed it it's like and it's benefited everyone because loads of people you uh, come up here and use that site and for someone just to destroy it, it's like, okay, why? But, that's over and done with now. We can only move on. Gives us more practice and getting uh, home in their skills. And that's what it's all about. So, keep your skills up. And if you do want to get more experience, you know, join the Scouts uh, as a leader. Uh, it's fun. Uh, and they're always looking for volunteers. So, have a good day everyone, and I'll talk to you next time. Bye.